Richard, you'll, this one you'll start with. The message Georgians are receiving in the media and from the State Department of Education is the importance of increasing workforce training. With regards to the Common Core Georgia Performance Standards, the path does not include algebra until the ninth grade or higher math above algebra two by the end of the high school's career, academic career. How can Georgia expect to increase the STEM ready students, STEM being science, technology, engineering, and, and uh, mathematics, how can, they, how can Georgia increase STEM ready students if higher math expectations are not even included in the standards? Is Georgia only interested in creating a mid-level workforce and do you think the Common Core standards are continuing to dumb down our children? And we'll start with Richard. Okay. The standards set, especially in the area of math, you know, that's one of the things that has been kind of a high area. If you want to go to Georgia Tech and some of these higher, you know, institutes of learning, you know, you have to have that algebra at eighth grade so that you can continue on with that. So I think we have to have that, that flexibility as a state to do things that we know are right. Now, the Common Core standards themselves, if you look, I forget the individual's name, but as we look at this, the standards were basically, you know, a blanket to say, okay, everybody would maybe be ready for a two-year college, okay? That put everybody in that same boat. But that, you know, for our higher educational kids, for the STEM learning kids, that's a disservice. You know, so we have to have the flexibility to control that and make sure that we, that at the local level, we can provide that for, for the kids. Now, as far as the math standards themselves, again, there are weaknesses in that. And again, one of the things we have done across the board within the past few years in Georgia, you know, we have went through math one, two, three, four. Some of you may remember that, the integrated math that we have. And again, when Dr. Barge came in, we basically said you have a choice. You can do integrated or either do traditional math, you know, at the local level. Well, there's no consistency there. And so we have to make sure that we, we are online because math is something that is very, very important. Because if you do not have a foundation in math, you know, you will not be able to succeed or have the opportunity to succeed across the board. And that means we need to make sure we get it right in the K-5 area. We have to have that foundation down there. Because I guarantee you that once you get to middle school and high school and beyond, those are things that we have to look at and make sure they have those skill sets. And one of the, un the telling things that a lot of people don't mention, you look at how many kids are taking remedial math when they go to our technical schools, when they go to our four-year colleges. That's unacceptable. If you graduate from high school in, in Georgia, you should not be taking remediation in higher learning. Okay, thank you. Mike? All right, we've got some of the highest graduation requirements in the country, including four math. And that third math, the third math in that sequence, must be at the advanced algebra, basically advanced algebra, algebra two, trig, that level for our students to graduate. So it, by no means is that dumbing it down. Most states, have lower graduation requirements than we do in the state of Georgia. As far as when young people can take Algebra I, that is a local decision. They set up their sequence, their curriculum, the timing for when their young people are ready, prepared for Algebra I. In some places, I know that's occurring at the seventh grade level. We don't dictate that from the State Department of Education. We know that we've got to do a better job with STEM. We all know that. At the Department of Education, we've put a program in place to recognize with certification as a STEM school, our schools that are doing all the things they need to do in science and math to move the needle forward. When we built out the pathways, recognizing that we've got to connect business and industry and communities to not just K-12 <laughs> education, but to the world of work, to Technical College and the University System of Georgia, we made sure as we built out over 200 new courses over the past two years that we put steering to committees together that were at least 50% plus one representatives from business and industry to make sure we're getting it right. Representatives from places like Delta, or how about UPS or FedEx for logistics? We took their input as we built out the standards that we're having in place to make sure that we are going to be a STEM-ready system for education. We're moving in that direction. We've got the right things in place. And I'm going to stop now because she's very polite with that list. But I could preach a sermon on this one. Okay. <laughs>